Access Control Entry, ACE. This is a specific rule found within an access control list that governs the permissions granted to a user or a group of users to access a particular resource. It plays a crucial role in defining who can or cannot view or use certain files, settings, or applications within a system. Access Control List, ACL. An ACL is a detailed list of the access control entries that apply to a particular resource or system. It specifies which users or system processes are granted access to objects, as well as what operations are allowed on given objects. Each entry in an ACL specifies the subjects and the corresponding access rights. Accountability. This principle requires that entities processing personal data are able to demonstrate how they comply with data protection principles and can verify that their data handling practices are in accordance with applicable privacy laws and regulations. It's about being responsible and able to account for how personal information is used, ensuring transparency and compliance. Accuracy. Accuracy in data protection means that organizations must ensure that personal data is accurate, complete, and up-to-date. It is important for companies to take all reasonable steps to keep data accurate and to rectify it when necessary, particularly if the personal data is used to make decisions affecting individuals. Act respecting the protection of personal information in the private sector. This is a law in Quebec that regulates how private sector organizations collect, use, and disclose personal information in their business operations. It emphasizes the need for a legitimate purpose for collecting data and grants individuals the right to access information held about them. Active data collection. This term refers to the process where data is gathered directly from individuals through explicit requests during interactions such as filling out online forms or surveys. It contrasts with passive data collection, where data is collected without explicit user involvement. Active scanning tools. These are software tools used to actively monitor and evaluate systems for security vulnerabilities, compliance with privacy policies, or unauthorized data access. They play a critical role in protecting personal information from breaches and ensuring compliance with data protection standards. Ad exchange. An ad exchange is a digital marketplace that allows advertisers and publishers to buy and sell advertising space in real time through automated bidding systems. It enables efficient allocation of ad space to advertisers who value it the most. Ad network. This is a service provider that connects advertisers with websites that host advertisements. The network aggregates ad spaces provided by publishers and matches them with advertiser demand, facilitating the buying and selling of ad space. Ad Choices. Ad Choices is a self-regulatory program for online advertising that aims to provide users with transparency and control over the types of ads they see based on their online behavior, often indicated by an icon placed in the corner of an ad. Adequate level of protection. This concept refers to a standard set by the European Union that must be met by countries outside the EU before personal data can be transferred to them. It ensures that these countries provide a level of data protection that is similar to that of the European Union. Administrative purpose refers to the use of personal information for decision-making processes that directly affect individuals, such as eligibility for benefits, hiring decisions, or performance evaluations. Advanced Encryption Standard, AES. AES is a symmetric encryption standard adopted by the U.S. government to protect classified information. It is widely used in software and hardware to encrypt sensitive data. Adverse action. In the context of consumer credit, adverse action is any action taken by a lender that negatively affects an individual's creditworthiness, such as denying a loan application, and requires the lender to provide a notice explaining the decision. Agile development model. An iterative and incremental approach to software development that emphasizes flexibility and customer feedback, which often results in faster project completion and better user satisfaction. Alberta Pippa. This is a provincial privacy law in Alberta, Canada, that governs how private sector organizations must handle personal information. It covers areas such as consent, reasonable purposes for data collection, and rights to access personal information. Algorithm. In the context of data processing, an algorithm is a set of coded instructions that a computer can use to solve a problem or perform a task. Algorithms are essential for processing large amounts of data quickly and can be used in a variety of applications, including data analysis and machine learning. American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, AICPA, The AICPA is a professional organization for certified public accountants in the United States. It sets ethical standards for the profession and U.S. auditing standards for private companies, nonprofit organizations, and government entities. Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA. This U.S. federal law protects disabled individuals from discrimination in various areas of public life, including jobs, education, and access to services. It aims to ensure equal opportunities for all. Annual Independent Evaluations. Mandated evaluations that review the effectiveness of information security measures and compliance with privacy regulations within U.S. government agencies. Annual reports. Reports required under the GDPR from data protection authorities and the European Data Protection Board, detailing their oversight activities and findings to ensure compliance with data protection laws. Anonymization. 
the process of modifying personal data so that no individual can be identified directly or indirectly from the data. This is often achieved by removing, masking, or aggregating identifiers. Anonymous information. Information that does not relate to an identified or identifiable individual, and thus is not considered personal data under privacy regulations like the GDPR. Anthropomorphism. The attribution of human traits, emotions, or intentions to non-human entities, often used in technology to enhance user interaction with AI and robots. Anti-discrimination laws. Laws designed to protect individuals from unfair treatment based on specific attributes such as race, gender, age, disability, and more, particularly relevant in the processing of sensitive personal data. APEC Privacy Principles Principles adopted by the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation to facilitate the balance between privacy protections and the flow of personal data among economies, aiming to enhance consumer trust and promote economic growth. Application or Field Encryption the practice of encrypting data at the field level within a database or application to secure sensitive information like credit card numbers or social security numbers from unauthorized access. Application layer attacks. Attacks that target the application layer of the network stack, exploiting vulnerabilities in applications to gain unauthorized access or cause service disruptions. Appropriate safeguards. Measures required under GDPR to protect personal data during its processing and transfer, ensuring compliance with privacy standards and protecting against data breaches. Appropriate technical and organizational measures, essential security practices and organizational policies required to protect data from unauthorized access, accidental loss, alteration, or destruction, ensuring data is handled in compliance with data protection regulations. Background checks. Employers conduct these to verify a candidate's qualifications and to ensure the safety of the workplace by examining educational, criminal, and other personal records. Bank Secrecy Act, BSA, U.S. legislation that requires financial institutions to help government agencies detect and prevent money laundering by keeping detailed records and reporting certain transactions. Basel III, a global regulatory framework aimed at strengthening the regulation, supervision, and risk management within the banking sector. B.C. PIPA, British Columbia's personal information protection law that regulates how personal information can be used within the province. Behavioral advertising, this type of advertising targets consumers based on the previous behavior and online activity often requiring explicit consent due to privacy regulations. Big data refers to extremely large data sets analyzed computationally to reveal patterns, trends, and associations, especially relating to human behavior and interactions. Binding corporate rules, BCRs, internal rules adopted by multinational companies to allow transfers of personal data across borders while ensuring compliance with EU data protection laws. Biometrics, unique physical or behavioral human characteristics, such as fingerprints or voice patterns, used for identification and access control. Blackmail, threatening to reveal someone's sensitive information unless demands are met, typically for personal gain. Bodily privacy, concerns protecting individuals' physical bodies against invasive procedures like drug testing or genetic testing without consent. Breach disclosure, laws requiring organizations to inform affected individuals and authorities when security breaches occur that may compromise personal data. Bring your own device, BYOD. Policies allowing employees to use their personal electronic devices for work purposes, raising various privacy and security concerns. Browser fingerprinting, a technique websites use to collect information about a visitor's browser settings and history to identify and track them uniquely. Bundesdatenschutzgesetz, BDSG Neu, Germany's Federal Data Protection Act aligning national law with the European GDPR. Bureau of Competition, part of the US Federal Trade Commission that enforces antitrust laws to promote fair business practices. Bureau of Consumer Protection. FTC Bureau that works against unfair, deceptive, or fraudulent business practices by enforcing regulations and educating consumers. Bureau of Economics assists the FTC by providing economic analysis to support its consumer protection and competition missions. Business Case, a document detailing the rationale for starting a project or task, focusing on meeting specific business objectives and compliance needs. Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery Plan, BCDR, strategies that help ensure essential business functions continue during and after serious incidents or disasters. Business Continuity Plan, BCP, plans that outline procedures and instructions an organization must follow in the face of disaster, covering roles, policies, procedures, and shifting control plans to ensure continuity of operations. Biometric Encryption, protecting personal data by converting biometrics into a secure digital key that can only be recreated with the correct biometric input, enhancing privacy and security. Blockchain Privacy, the application of blockchain technology to enhance privacy by decentralizing data storage, thus reducing the chances of personal data breaches and enhancing data control by individuals. Business Ethics and Data Protection, the principles that guide business conduct concerning the ethical handling, sharing, and protection of consumer data to prevent abuse and ensure trust. Browser isolation, 
a security technology that physically isolates internet browsing activity from the local machine and network, preventing malware, browser-based attacks, and enhancing privacy. Breach Readiness Plan, a pre-developed approach detailing how an organization will respond to a data breach including immediate actions, communication plans, and mitigation strategies. Behavioral Biometrics, the use of behavior patterns such as typing rhythm, mouse movements, and walking patterns as unique identifiers for enhanced security and authentication. Baseline Privacy Practices, the minimum level of activity required to meet legal and regulatory standards in privacy and data protection within an organization. Biometric Data Retention, Policies and practices concerning how long biometric data can be stored by an organization, balancing operational needs with privacy concerns to prevent potential misuse. Cache control, measures to manage browser caching to protect sensitive information from being retained locally after web sessions. California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA, a comprehensive state law in California governing the processing of personal information by businesses, emphasizing transparency and consumer rights. California Investigative Consumer Reporting Agencies Act, CICRAA regulates the use of consumer reports by employers in California, requiring disclosure to and consent from individuals. California Online Privacy Protection Act, CALOPA, mandates that websites disclose their privacy practices and allows minors to delete personal information submitted online. California Privacy Rights Act, CPRA, enhances CCPA by adding additional rights for consumers and establishing an enforcement agency. Canada's anti-spam legislation, CASL, regulates commercial electronic messages, requiring consent and providing a mechanism for recipients to opt out. Canadian Institute of Chartered Accountants, CICA, oversees the ethical and educational standards of accountants in Canada. Canadian Organization for the Advancement of Computers in Health, COACH, promotes the use and development of health informatics in Canada. Canadian Standards Association, CSA, develops standards, including those related to privacy, which inform Canadian privacy law. Case law, legal principles developed through judicial decisions, guiding future adjudications. CCTV surveillance, use of video cameras to monitor a specific area, raising concerns about privacy and data protection. Census Bureau, a U.S. government agency that collects demographic information, prioritizing the confidentiality of personal data. Centralized governance, a privacy strategy that centralizes data management to a specific individual or team within an organization. Certification mechanisms, frameworks developed under GDPR to ensure that data transfers outside the EU meet EU privacy standards. Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union ensures personal data protection as a fundamental right within the EU. Charter rights, protections provided under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, including privacy rights. Chatbots, automated systems that simulate human conversation, used for customer service and data collection. Chief FOIA Officer, a designated official responsible for ensuring compliance with the Freedom of Information Act within U.S. government agencies. Chief Privacy Officer, CPO, an executive who oversees an organization's data privacy policies and practices. Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, a U.S. federal law that protects the privacy of children under 13 in the digital environment. Choice, a principle that emphasizes that individuals should have control over how the personal information is used and shared. CIA Triad, a model in information security that outlines three main objectives, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. CIO Council advises on best practices for information technology management across the U.S. federal government. Ciphertext, encrypted data that is unreadable without the proper decryption key. Cloud computing, the delivery of computing services over the internet, including storage, processing, and networking resources. County regulatory model, a system where industry and government collaboratively develop and enforce privacy standards. Code audits, examinations of software source code to ensure compliance with privacy standards and security best practices. Code reviews, meetings where developers critically assess the quality and security of source code. Codes of conduct, agreements within industries to abide by specific privacy standards, often endorsed by regulatory authorities. Collection limitation, a principle that limits the collection of personal data to what is necessary for specified purposes. Commercial activity, actions undertaken by organizations that have a commercial character impacting privacy regulations like PIPEDA. Commercial electronic message, SEM, a type of communication that is used for promoting commercial activities, subject to regulatory requirements. Common law, law derived from judicial decisions, as opposed to statutes or regulations, influencing privacy practices. Communications privacy, protection of all forms of communication against unauthorized interception or monitoring. Completeness arguments, Methodology used to ensure that software designs comprehensively address all specified privacy requirements. Comprehensive laws, regulations that provide broad protection of personal data across different sectors and types of data. Computer forensics, 
the practice of collecting, analyzing, and reporting on digital data in a way that is legally admissible. Computer Matching and Privacy Protection Act regulates the use of computer matching by U.S. federal agencies, particularly for data integrity and privacy. Concept of Operations, C-O-N-O-P-S, document that describes the characteristics of a proposed system from the viewpoint of an individual who will use that system. Confidentiality, the assurance that information is not disclosed to unauthorized individuals, entities, or processes. Confirmed opt-in, a method in email marketing requiring a second confirmation from the subscriber to ensure they genuinely wish to receive emails. Consent, a fundamental requirement in privacy law where the individual voluntarily agrees to the processing of their personal data. Consent decree, a legal agreement approved by a judge, often used in regulatory contexts to ensure compliance without admitting guilt. Consistency mechanism, a GDPR provision that ensures uniform application of data protection laws across EU member states. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, a U.S. agency tasked with ensuring consumers are treated fairly by banks, lenders, and other financial companies. Consumer Report, a document that evaluates an individual's eligibility for credit, employment, or other purposes, regulated under the FCRA. Consumer Reporting Agency, CRA, an entity that compiles and furnishes consumer reports for use in credit decisions, employment, and other purposes. Consumerization of Information Technology, COIT, the trend of adopting consumer technology within corporate environments, influencing IT policies and privacy. Content data, the substantive part of a communication, such as the text of an email, which is distinct from metadata. Content delivery network, CDN, a network of servers that deliver cached web content and web pages to users based on the geographic location. Context-aware computing, technologies that can adjust their operations based on user context, such as location or time of day. Context of authority, Security models that adjust access rights based on the context of the user's role and environment. Contextual advertising. Advertising that is targeted to the content of a web page or user's current search query. Contextual integrity. A framework for understanding privacy expectations and norms based on specific social contexts, developed by Helen Nissenbaum. Contractual clauses. Standard clauses used in contracts to ensure personal data transferred outside the EU is still protected under GDPR. Controlled unclassified information, QI, information that while not classified, must still be protected due to applicable privacy or other laws. Convention 108, a binding international treaty that ensures the protection of personal data and privacy in automated processing. Cookie, a small file stored on a user's computer designed to hold data specific to a particular client and website. Cookie Directive, EU legislation that mandates obtaining user consent for cookies and similar technologies on websites. Cooperation, a GDPR mechanism whereby EU member states' data protection authorities cooperate on cases involving cross-border data processing. Copeland v. United Kingdom, a European Court of Human Rights case that highlighted the privacy implications of workplace surveillance. Corporate-owned, personally enabled, COPE, a business model where employees are provided with devices that they can also use for personal purposes. Costedger, a landmark case in the EU that established the right to be forgotten, allowing individuals to request the deletion of personal data under certain circumstances. Council of Europe, an international organization focused on promoting human rights, democracy, and the rule of law in Europe. Council of the European Union, one of the EU's main decision-making bodies, consisting of ministers from each EU member state. Coupling, in software engineering, a measure of how closely connected different modules or components are within a system. Court of Justice of the European Union, CJEU, the highest court in the EU, responsible for interpreting EU law and ensuring its equal application across all member states. Credit freeze a security measure that prevents credit, loans, and services from being approved in your name without your consent. Credit Reporting Agency, an organization that collects individual credit information and provides it to creditors who wish to evaluate credit risk. Cross-border data transfers, the movement of personal data outside the geographical boundaries of one jurisdiction into another, often regulated to ensure privacy protections. Cross-site scripting, XSS, a security vulnerability typically found in web applications, allowing attackers to inject client-side scripts into web pages viewed by other users. Cryptography, the practice of securing information by converting it into unreadable code for data integrity and privacy protection. Cryptosystem, a system for secure communication, including the necessary algorithms, protocols, and keys for encryption and decryption. CSA Privacy Principles, 10 privacy principles adopted by the Canadian Standards Association, forming the basis of Canada's PIPEDA privacy legislation. Current Baseline, A description of an organization's existing data privacy practices before implementing new policies or technologies. Customer access. The ability of consumers to access the personal data held by an organization to review, correct, or delete inaccuracies.
Customer Data Integration, CDI, the process of consolidating and managing customer information from various sources to provide a unified view. Customer Information, data that pertains to customers, distinct from employee information, and used for business operations. Cyber Liability Insurance, insurance that covers liability for data breaches involving sensitive customer information. Cyberbullying, the use of electronic communication to bully a person, typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. Dark patterns, techniques in user interface design crafted to trick users into sharing more personal information than they intend to. Data aggregation, the process of compiling individual data sets into larger data sets to analyze trends, ensuring that the identities of individuals are masked by grouping similar characteristics. Data breach, an unauthorized access or retrieval of data which endangers the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of personal information stored by an entity. Data breach, EU-specific, an incident that results in the unauthorized destruction, loss, alteration, or disclosure of personal data, as outlined by the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR. Data breach notification, EU-specific, the obligation of a data controller to inform regulatory authorities and affected individuals about a data breach within a stipulated time frame. Data brokers, companies that collect personal data from various sources and sell it to third parties, including aggregated and inferred data. Data centers, Secure facilities that manage and store data, serving as the backbone for data management either for individual organizations or third-party clients. Data classification. A system used to organize data based on its level of sensitivity and the security it requires, crucial for managing corporate and customer information securely. Data controller. An entity that determines the purposes and means of processing personal data, whether acting alone or jointly with others. Data elements. Discrete units of data that have precise meaning or context within a dataset, such as a user ID or a date of birth. Data flow diagrams, DFD, visual representations that map out the flow of data within an information system, facilitating a better understanding of the system's processes and data throughputs. Data Integrity Board, DIB, a committee required under the Privacy Act to oversee and manage all data matching programs operated by federal agencies, ensuring they comply with statutory and regulatory requirements. Data Inventory. An exhaustive cataloging of data an organization collects, detailing where it resides, how it moves, and who has access, to manage and protect sensitive information effectively. Data Lifecycle Management, DLM. The comprehensive management of data from creation to deletion, incorporating policies, practices, and tools to manage and secure data effectively throughout its lifecycle. Data Loss Prevention, DLP. Strategies and solutions implemented to prevent unauthorized access to, exposure of, or destruction of sensitive information. Data masking, a method of creating a structurally similar but inauthentic version of an organization's data to protect sensitive information while allowing functional practices to continue. Data matching, the practice of aggregating and comparing datasets to determine how pieces of data relate to one another, often used in the context of verifying identities or detecting fraud. Data minimization, the principle of limiting data collection to the strict minimum necessary for completing a particular function or service. Data portability, the right of data subjects to receive their personal data in a format that allows for easy transfer between different service providers. Data processing, operations performed on personal data, including but not limited to collection, recording, organization, structuring, storage, adaptation, retrieval, consultation, use, and erasure. Data processor, an entity that processes personal data on behalf of a data controller. Data protection, comprehensive rules and practices that organizations must follow to ensure that personal data is kept private and secure from unauthorized access, use, alteration, and destruction. Data Protection Authority, DPA, national authorities tasked with the enforcement of data protection laws within the European Union. Data protection by design and by default, a strategic approach in data processing that integrates data protection features and enhancements right from the technological design phase and default settings. Data Protection Commissioner, an official who oversees data protection laws and practices within a jurisdiction, ensuring compliance with data protection regulations. Data Protection Directive. EU legislation dictating how member states should protect personal data within their borders, serving as the precursor to the General Data Protection Regulation. Data Protection Impact Assessment, DPIA, a process that helps organizations identify, assess, and mitigate privacy risks in data processing activities. Data Protection Officer, DPO, a mandatory role within certain organizations that requires overseeing the organization's data protection strategy and its implementation to ensure compliance with GDPR requirements. Data Protection Policy, a formal document outlining how an organization protects the personal and sensitive data it holds from unauthorized access and loss. Data Protection Principles, 
fundamental guidelines under the GDPR that outline how personal data should be processed, including principles of lawfulness, fairness, transparency, and accountability. Data quality. The accuracy and completeness of data, ensuring it is adequate, relevant, and not excessive in relation to the purposes for which it is processed. Data recipient. A person or entity that receives personal data from a data controller or processor who is not considered a third party. Data retention. The ongoing storage of documents, data, and records under a policy or regulation, specifying the duration for which information must be kept before disposal. Data schema. An outline of a database's structure that defines how data is organized and how the relations among them are associated. Data subject. Any individual who can be identified, directly or indirectly, by the data held about them. Do identification. The removal of personal identifiers from datasets, making it more difficult to identify the individual from whom the data was collected. Decentralized governance. A form of organizational structure where decision-making is distributed or delegated away from a central authority. Deceptive trade practices. Business methods that mislead consumers about products or services, often regulated to protect consumer interests and maintain fair trading conditions. Declared data. Information that a user consciously and explicitly provides to platforms such as social networks. Deep learning, a branch of artificial intelligence that employs a layered structure of algorithms called neural networks to model complex patterns and perform tasks like image recognition, speech recognition, and natural language processing. Defamation, a legal claim involving damage to a person's reputation caused by false statements made publicly. Demand side platform, DSP, a system that allows buyers of digital advertising inventory to manage multiple ad exchange and data exchange accounts through one interface. Demographic advertising, Targeted advertising based on demographic information such as age, gender, income, and more to tailor marketing efforts to specific segments of the population. Derogation. A temporary relaxation of normal requirements, or an exemption from a rule or law, particularly in the context of EU legislation. Design patterns. Established solutions to common problems in software engineering, providing a standard approach to solving design issues in system development. Design thinking process a methodology that provides a solution-based approach to solving problems with a specific focus on understanding the human needs involved. Differential identifiability, a privacy-enhancing computation that adjusts the likelihood of re-identifying individual data within aggregated datasets. Digital Advertising Alliance, DAR, an organization that creates and enforces privacy standards for online advertising to ensure consumer privacy and trustworthy advertising practices. Digital Fingerprinting, a method of collecting unique information about a computer or device for the purpose of identifying individual devices even when cookies are disabled. Digital rights management, DRM, technologies used by publishers and copyright holders to control the usage of digital content after sale, such as restricting copying and editing of digital products. Digital signature, a cryptographic technique that provides a way to ensure the integrity and security of data and to authenticate the identity of the signer. Direct marketing, the practice of delivering promotional messages directly to potential customers individually, rather than through a mass medium. Directive on Privacy and Electronic Communications, e-Privacy Directive. EU legislation that regulates the processing of personal data in electronic communications, including the use of cookies and the confidentiality of communications. Disassociability, techniques that separate data from identifiable individuals to protect their privacy while maintaining the utility of the data. Disclosure, the act of making personal data available to a third party whether or not within the organization. Discretionary access control, DAC, a type of access control where the owner or administrator of the protected system, data, or resource decides on who is allowed access. Dispute resolution, the process of resolving a dispute or disagreement, especially in the context of data protection, where regulatory bodies intervene to enforce compliance and resolve issues. Distortion, the act of giving a misleading or false account or impression of events, typically to mislead or misinform. DMZ, demilitarized zone, network, a physical or logical subnetwork that exposes an organization's external facing services to a larger, untrusted network, typically the internet, to provide an additional layer of security. Do not track, DNT, a concept proposed for internet browsers that allows users to opt out of tracking by websites they do not visit, including analytics services, advertising networks, and social platforms. Do not call Implementation Act of 2003. U.S. legislation that enables the creation of a national registry where individuals can limit the telemarketing calls they receive. Do Not Call Improvement Act of 2007, an amendment to the Do Not Call Implementation Act that makes registration in the National Do Not Call Registry permanent, eliminating the need for consumers to re-register their phone numbers. Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act, comprehensive financial reform legislation passed in the United States in 2010, 
aiming to decrease risks in the financial system with measures including the creation of new financial regulatory agencies and the imposition of significant new regulations on financial institutions. E-authentication. In the digital age, as more citizens access government services online, verifying identities becomes crucial. Agencies are tasked with evaluating electronic transactions to ensure authentication methods offer suitable assurance levels. E-commerce websites. Websites enabling online transactions gain unique access to consumer purchase data and payment details. This creates opportunities for personalized marketing but also places a higher responsibility on these platforms to safeguard consumer privacy. E-Government Act. This U.S. federal legislation mandates that federal agencies conduct privacy impact assessments for new or significantly revised IT systems to protect personal information. Electronic communications data. Under the e-privacy directive in the European Union, this encompasses three key types of personal data, communication content, traffic data, and location data. Electronic communications network. Such networks include all systems that allow signal transmission via wire, radio, optical, or other electromagnetic means. This category spans a vast array of networks from satellites to mobile networks and cable systems. Electronic Communications Privacy Act of 1986, an update to the Federal Wiretap Act of 1968. This act safeguards communications in transit and stored online, covering emails, phone conversations, and electronic data storage. Electronic Communication Service, services providing users the capability to send or receive messages electronically, whether through wire or digital means. Electronic discovery in legal proceedings. Electronic discovery involves the exchange of information in digital formats, a process that often includes a vast amount of a company's digital records. Electronic health record. Digital versions of a patient's medical records that can be shared across different healthcare settings, including personal and medical history, laboratory results, and billing information. Electronic surveillance monitoring locations or communications using electronic technology, including video surveillance and data intercepts. Employee information. This includes any personal information collected by an employer, used exclusively for managing employment or volunteer relationships. Employee personal data. Under the GDPR, special rules protect employee data in the workplace, emphasizing transparency and the protection of personal rights in the face of the inherent power imbalance in employer-employee relationships. Employment at will. A policy that allows either the employer or the employee to terminate employment at any time without cause. Encryption a method of securing information by converting it into a code to prevent unauthorized access, with encryption keys used to encode or decode the data. Encryption key, the tool used within a cryptographic algorithm to encrypt or decrypt messages, ensuring data security and privacy. End user license agreement, a legal contract between software developers and users, stipulating the terms under which the software can be used and the rights of both parties. Enterprise architecture, the blueprint that outlines the structure and functioning of an organization aiming to align strategies and technologies to achieve business goals. Enterprise Mobility Management, a strategy to secure and manage employees' use of mobile devices within a company, ensuring corporate data protection through various techniques like encryption and remote data wiping. E-Privacy Directive, an EU directive focusing on the protection of personal data in the electronic communication sector, requiring user consent for cookies and regulating other privacy aspects in digital marketing. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, a U.S. federal agency tasked with enforcing laws against workplace discrimination, ensuring fair treatment across various bases such as race, gender, and age. Erasure. Under GDPR, individuals have the right to have their personal data deleted when it's no longer necessary for its original processing purpose or if consent is withdrawn. Established business relationship. A criterion allowing marketers to bypass the do-not-call registry if a prior interaction with the consumer exists, supporting ongoing business interactions. Established service provider. Under GDPR, this term refers to service providers acting as processors who must adhere to specific legal obligations concerning data handling and processing. Establishment in EU law. Establishment refers to any effective and real exercise of activity through stable arrangements within the EU, irrespective of the legal form. EU Data Protection Directive. Replaced by the GDPR in 2018, this directive originally set forth principles for the protection of personal data within the EU from 1998 until its replacement. EU Data Retention Directive, a directive that mandated member states to store citizens' telecommunications data for a limited time, aimed at aiding law enforcement. EU-US Safe Harbor Agreement, an arrangement invalidated in 2015 that previously allowed for the transfer of personal data from the EU to the US, ensuring compliance with EU data protection standards. EU-US Privacy Shield, introduced in 2016 to replace the Safe Harbor Agreement, facilitating data transfers between the EU and US companies though it was invalidated in 2020 due to privacy concerns. European Commission, the executive body of the EU responsible for proposing legislation, implementing decisions, and upholding the EU treaties. European Convention on Human Rights, 
a treaty aiming to protect human rights and fundamental freedoms in Europe, allowing individuals to appeal to the European Court of Human Rights in case of violations. European Council, an institution of the EU that consists of heads of state or government of member states, providing the EU with necessary impetus for development and defining general political directions and priorities. European Court of Human Rights, an international court established by the European Convention on Human Rights to ensure that member states respect the rights and guarantees outlined in the Convention. European Data Protection Board, a body that contributes to the consistent application of data protection regulations across the EU, providing guidance and clarifications on key issues. European Data Protection Supervisor, the official responsible for monitoring and ensuring the application of data protection regulations within EU institutions and advising on policies and legislation. European Economic Area, a zone that extends the single European market to non-EU member states like Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway, which participate in the internal market without being members of the EU. European Economic Community, a precursor to the EU established to foster economic integration among its member states, which evolved into the European Union following the Maastricht Treaty. European Parliament, the legislative body of the EU, directly elected by EU citizens to represent their interests, with powers to legislate, supervise, and decide on international agreements. European Union, a political and economic union of 27 European countries that are committed to regional integration. The Union's policies aim to ensure the free movement of people, goods, services, and capital within the internal market. Exclusion, a process in data handling where an individual's consent or knowledge about the use of their information is not required or not obtained, often in contexts where data is processed without transparency. Executive Order 12333, a US directive that outlines the goals and responsibilities of the national intelligence community focusing on the protection of citizens' privacy and the lawful gathering of intelligence. Exposure. In privacy terms, exposure refers to the revelation or leakage of personal information that is typically confidential, leading to potential privacy breaches. Extensible markup language, commonly known as XML. This markup language defines a set of rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human-readable and machine-readable, facilitating the sharing of structured data across different information systems. Extranet a network that links one or more intranets, providing controlled access to external users, often enhancing collaboration but also introducing security risks that must be managed through stringent policies and agreements. Factors analysis in information risk, FAIR, model breaks down risk into the frequency of action and the severity of potential violations, providing a structured approach to quantifying risk. FactorTame was a landmark 1989 case at the European Court of Justice confirming EU law's supremacy over national laws within member states in areas of EU competence. Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act of 2003 expands the Fair Credit Reporting Act to enhance consumer rights to access their credit information and protect against identity theft, including free annual credit reports and fraud alerts. Fair Credit Reporting Act establishes the standards for collecting and handling consumer information, ensuring accuracy, fairness, and privacy of personal information in credit reporting. Fair Information Practice Principles, FIPPs, guide the use and protection of personal information, emphasizing accountability, minimization, access, and integrity among other principles to safeguard individual privacy. Fairness in GDPR emphasizes lawful, fair, and transparent processing of personal data, ensuring data subjects are aware and can consent to data processing and access their rights. Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, FERPA, protects the privacy of student educational records, allowing parental or student access and control over their information. Federal Advisory Committee Act regulates federal advisory committees to ensure essential formation, limited powers, public meetings, and transparency. Federal Agency Data Mining Reporting Act mandates annual reports from agencies engaging in data mining, detailing activities and effectiveness with privacy oversight. Federal Communications Commission regulates interstate communications to ensure privacy protection overlaps with FTC enforcement in telecommunication contexts. Federal Enterprise Architecture Security and Privacy Profile, FAR SPP, Integrate security and privacy in federal IT practices, distinguishing and intertwining the roles of each. Federal Information Security Incident Center operationalized through U.S. CERT, provides critical technical services and advice on information security incidents and threats. Federal Information Security Management Act of 2002 requires federal agencies to protect the security of data and information systems through comprehensive management programs. Federal Records Act ensures efficient and effective records management in federal agencies, intersecting with privacy laws to protect personally identifiable information. Federal Trade Commission acts as the primary consumer protection body, enforcing against unfair or deceptive practices in commerce, including privacy violations. Federal Trade Commission Act, Section 5 of empowers FTC to pursue unfair or deceptive acts or practices, extensively used to enforce privacy and security standards. Federated identity centralizes authentication within a trusted service, 
simplifying user access across multiple systems while maintaining security and privacy. Final health breach notification rule requires personal health record vendors to notify individuals of breaches, ensuring transparency and protection under high-tech. Financial industry regulatory authority oversees brokerage firms and exchange markets, ensuring fair operations and investor protection under SEC regulations. Financial Institutions Reform, Recovery, and Enforcement Act of 1989 imposes significant penalties for non-compliance with financial regulations, including privacy under GLBA. Financial Instruments and Exchange Law of Japan provides comprehensive guidelines for the financial services sector, ensuring transparency, fairness, and protection against unfair trading. First-party collection involves direct collection of data from the subject, ensuring clear communication and consent in the process. Five-step metric life cycle refers to the systematic approach in the evaluation and application of metrics within data management and analysis processes. Flash adds dynamic and interactive elements to web content, enhancing visual presentation and user engagement on digital platforms. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act of 1978 regulates how U.S. intelligence agencies conduct surveillance on foreign intelligence within the U.S., ensuring processes are legally compliant. Freedom of Information Act ensures public access to federal government records, promoting transparency and accountability with specific exemptions for personal information. Freely given in GDPR terms, mandates that consent for data processing must be given voluntarily and without coercion, reflecting a true choice by the data subject. Frequency data counts the occurrences of data values within a data set, helping in understanding distribution and trends in data analysis. Functional system requirements detail the operational characteristics of a system, specifying inputs, outputs, and expected functionalities to guide system development. Future proofing involves designing systems and processes with consideration for evolving technologies and future conditions to ensure sustainability and relevance over time. Forensic data analysis utilizes advanced techniques to examine electronic data, aiding in investigations by uncovering patterns and insights that are not immediately apparent. Fiduciary privacy pertains to the obligation of one party to act in the best privacy interest of another when handling personal information in scenarios involving trust, such as legal and financial advisories. Facial recognition technology uses biometric software to identify or verify a person's identity using their facial features, raising significant privacy and surveillance concerns. Filter bubble is a result of algorithmic filtering based on user behavior that limits exposure to information and viewpoints, potentially creating a skewed perception of reality. Firewall serves as a security system that controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules, protecting systems from unauthorized access. Firmware integrity involves the security and authenticity of the embedded software that controls hardware devices, ensuring the software has not been tampered with or compromised. Freedom of expression intersects with privacy by allowing individuals to seek, receive, and impart information freely, yet responsibly, without unwarranted intrusion. Frictionless data sharing refers to the seamless exchange of data between systems, reducing barriers and enhancing efficiency, while also necessitating robust privacy controls. Fuzz testing or fuzzing is an automated software testing technique that involves inputting invalid, unexpected, or random data into the system and monitoring for crashes, vulnerabilities, and bugs. Financial privacy covers the rights and practices that ensure consumer financial information is collected, processed, and shared with consent and necessary protections against unauthorized access. Functional encryption allows specific pieces of encrypted data to be computed without exposing the entire data set, providing precise access control in cryptographic applications. Fraud detection systems utilize algorithms and analytics to identify and prevent unauthorized financial activities by monitoring transaction patterns for anomalies. Freedom of Information Day commemorates the importance of open access to government information and the public's right to know, highlighting transparency and accountability in governance. Field encryption secures individual fields within a database or application, encrypting sensitive data like credit card numbers or social security numbers to protect them from unauthorized disclosure. Fingerprint authentication uses biometric verification based on unique patterns in a person's fingerprint to enhance security and user authentication processes. False positive in privacy refers to incorrectly identifying an instance of data misuse or breach, which can lead to unnecessary actions and affect user trust. Federated Learning of Cohorts, FLOC, is a proposed web tracking technology that groups users into cohorts based on browsing behavior to serve targeted advertisements without individual tracking. Federated data architecture allows organizations to manage their data across multiple systems and formats, enabling comprehensive data analysis without centralizing storage. Failure to secure personal data is a breach of privacy laws and regulations, resulting in unauthorized access to or disclosure of personal information, which can lead to penalties and loss of trust. Filtering algorithm dynamically sorts and presents information based on user-defined criteria or behaviors, significantly impacting content accessibility and relevance. Fair information practices form the foundation of privacy laws and practices globally, 
emphasizing principles such as transparency, accountability, and user control over personal information. Forensic information technology applies forensic methods to recover and investigate data in digital devices, often used in legal contexts to provide evidence in cases involving digital crimes. Freedom to tinker refers to the right of individuals to understand and modify the technology they own, without restrictions imposed by manufacturers, fostering innovation and privacy enhancements. Future of Privacy Forum is an organization that brings together industry leaders, academics, and policymakers to explore and develop privacy guidance and practices that address emerging privacy challenges. Gap analysis involves assessing current privacy management capabilities to support business and technical requirements identified during audits or assessments, reviewing existing systems, tools, hardware, and infrastructure to ensure they meet needed specifications. Gaskin v. United Kingdom in this 1989 European Court of Human Rights case, it was ruled that denying Gaskin access to his personal files breached his right to private and family life under Article 8 of the Convention. Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, a U.S. federal law enacted in 2008 that prohibits discrimination by health insurers and employers based on genetic information, ensuring privacy and protection for individuals undergoing genetic testing or counseling. General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, introduced in 2018, provides a uniform data protection framework across all EU member states and the EEA, containing 173 recitals and 99 articles to enhance personal data privacy and increase organizational accountability. Generally accepted privacy principles developed by the AICPA and CICA outline 10 privacy principles including management, notice, choice and consent, and security for privacy, guiding organizations in responsible data handling and protection practices. Geosocial patterns analysis of data from devices like smartphones reveals mobility and social behaviors, utilizing AI and machine learning to extract significant patterns and insights from shared information. Geocoding converts non-locational data into geographic coordinates, allowing for precise placement on maps, commonly used to translate street addresses into latitudinal and longitudinal points. Geofencing employs virtual geographic boundaries to manage access to apps or sensitive data based on a device's location, enhancing security in contexts like BYOD by regulating app access on corporate networks. Geotagging adds geographical identification metadata to various media, including photos and social media posts, embedding details like latitude, longitude, or city and state. Geotargeting tailors advertising to audiences based on their geographic location, optimizing marketing efforts to be more relevant to local demographics and preferences. Get method in HTML forms transmits data via URL, exposing sensitive information in the browser's address bar, making it less secure compared to the post method, which conceals data during transmission. Global Privacy Enforcement Network, GPEN, encourages collaboration among international privacy law enforcement bodies to enhance global privacy protection through joint initiatives and sharing of best practices, boasting 50 member countries as of 2018. Globally Unique Identifier, GWID, serves as a unique identifier for users, critical for systems requiring distinct user identification such as login systems or biometric databases. Government in the Sunshine Act mandates that federal agencies conduct meetings publicly and provide advance notice, enhancing transparency and public engagement in governmental decision-making processes. Graham-Leach-Bliley Act, GLBA, also known as the Financial Services Modernization Act of 1999, regulates U.S. financial entities in how they handle and share non-public personal information, requiring secure storage of financial data and allowing consumers to opt out of certain data-sharing practices. Gray Hat Hacker, a hacker who operates between ethical and unethical practices, sometimes performing unauthorized actions to expose vulnerabilities but without malicious intent, raising ethical and legal considerations regarding privacy and security. Granular permissions refers to the practice of assigning specific and detailed access rights or privileges to users or applications, allowing for precise control over data access and minimizing privacy risks by restricting unnecessary permissions. Granular retention policy a data retention policy that defines specific criteria for retaining or deleting data based on its value, relevance, or legal requirements, ensuring compliance with privacy regulations and minimizing data exposure. Group policy object, GPO, in Microsoft Windows environments, it's a feature that allows administrators to manage and enforce security and configuration settings across a network of computers, including privacy-related policies such as data encryption, user access controls, and password policies. Guest Wi-Fi, a separate Wi-Fi network provided by businesses or organizations for visitors or guests, often with limited access to internal resources and enhanced security measures, protecting the privacy of both guests and the host network. Guided Access, a feature on iOS devices that allows users to restrict access to specific apps or features, commonly used to limit access for children or individuals with disabilities, enhancing privacy and security by controlling device usage. Haralambi v. Romania, in this 2009 landmark case, the European Court of Human Rights found Romania in violation of Article 8, 
ruling against the denial of Haralambi's access to his secret service file from the communist era, awarding him 6,000 euros in compensation. Harm Dimensions, coined by Ryan Callow, harm dimensions in privacy encompass both objective, tangible harm experienced, and subjective, perceived harm, dimensions, highlighting the significance of perceived harm in assessing privacy impacts. Hashing Functions, integral to privacy protection, hashing functions anonymize user identifiers by converting them into an organized system, crucial for encryption, data mapping, and ensuring privacy in various security applications. Health Breach Notification Rule, under U.S. high-tech regulations, Vendors of personal health records must notify consumers of breaches involving their health information, bolstering transparency and accountability in healthcare data management. Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act, HITECH, part of the broader American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, HITECH addresses privacy and security concerns related to protected health information, FI, under HIPAA, including breach notifications and civil penalties for non-compliance. Welcome to Privacy Trainers Privacy Definitions. Now, Let's continue our alphabetical journey through key privacy terms, focusing on those beginning with the letter H. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive in. Hide, concealing personal information to prevent it from being linked or observed by others, enhancing privacy by limiting access to sensitive data. High-level design, illustrates the coordinated functioning of a system's components, encompassing both front-end and back-end operations, crucial for ensuring privacy-preserving behaviors. Homomorphic, a privacy-enhancing technique allowing computations on encrypted data without the need for decryption, preserving privacy while enabling data manipulation. House of Commons. In Canada's parliamentary system, the House of Commons, alongside the Senate, plays a crucial role in legislative processes, with members elected at regular intervals to represent constituents. HTML, hypertext markup language, foundational to the web. HTML is a language for creating structured web pages, facilitating content formatting, linking, and interaction through hyperlinks. Hybrid governance. Blending centralized and local governance structures, this model fosters efficient privacy management in large organizations, with central bodies setting policies and local entities implementing them. Hyperlink. A navigational element in web content, hyperlinks connect users to other web pages or resources, embedded with URLs to facilitate seamless browsing experiences. Hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, governing data transmission over the web. HTTP defines how messages are formatted and exchanged between web servers and browsers, crucial for accessing online content. Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, HTTPS, a secure communication protocol, HTTPS encrypts data transmitted over HTTP, safeguarding privacy and integrity in online transactions. Identifiability reflects how easily an authentication system can recognize a user. The higher the identifiability, the simpler it is for that user to be monitored or pinpointed. Conversely, lower identifiability increases the risk of unauthorized user access. Identifiers, these are unique codes or sequences of characters that symbolize a person, device, or browser in digital systems. Identifying purposes, this principle stresses the importance of organizations clearly stating why they collect personal information before or at the time of collection, enhancing transparency and accountability. Individual access, a core principle under PIPEDA, which asserts that individuals should have the right to access the personal information held by an organization. Individual participation, this privacy principle advocates for the right of individuals to confirm whether the data is being processed and to access such data in a clear, timely, and affordable manner. It also includes the right to contest denials of access or corrections. Information banks, these are controlled repositories where personal data is stored by governmental entities in compliance with the Privacy Act. Information governance involves the orchestration of various stakeholders involved in processing personal data, ensuring adherence to privacy laws, security measures, and technical solutions. Information hiding this term describes the process of assigning data into distinct classification levels and controlling access through limited authorization mechanisms. Information lifecycle acknowledges the evolving value of data as it transitions through stages such as collection, use, retention, and destruction within an organization. Information lifecycle management, also known as ILM or DLM, this approach involves managing the flow of data throughout its life cycle, from creation to disposal, with policies that define processes, roles, and controls. Information privacy represents one of the privacy classes alongside bodily, territorial, and communications privacy. It is the right of entities to control how information about them is shared. Information security focuses on safeguarding information from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction to ensure integrity, confidentiality, and availability. Information security practices, these include management, technical, and operational controls aimed at minimizing risks to data integrity and preventing unauthorized access. 
Information Security Triad known as the CIA Triad. This model emphasizes the principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability within information security. Information Sharing Environment A framework established under the IRTPA to enhance the sharing of terrorism-related information among various entities while protecting privacy and legal rights. Information Utility describes the pursuit of businesses to utilize all collected information to enhance services and products, balanced against privacy considerations. Insecurity occurs when there is a failure in protecting personal or organizational information, leading to potential breaches or unauthorized access. Integrity under the GDPR, integrity refers to maintaining the accuracy, consistency, and trustworthiness of data throughout its processing life cycle. Interactive Advertising Bureau, an association that represents online advertising businesses, setting industry standards, conducting research, and offering legal support. Internal Partners refers to departments or professionals within an organization who manage privacy-related activities, such as IT, HR, and marketing. Internet of Things encompasses the network of devices connected to the Internet, allowing for automation and remote operations through unique IP addresses. Internet Protocol address a unique numerical label assigned to each device connected to a computer network that uses the Internet Protocol for communication. Internet Service Provider companies that provide Internet connectivity to users via various mediums such as DSL, cable, or wireless networks. Interrogation in the context of privacy. Interrogation refers to excessive probing for personal information that may violate societal norms and individual privacy. Intrusion detection system a security mechanism that monitors network or system activities for malicious actions or policy violations and reports them to an administrator. Intrusion prevention system similar to an IDS but with capabilities to actively prevent or block intrusions into the network or systems without requiring human intervention. Intrusion reports documents or logs that detail detected security threats or breaches in network or system security. Investigative Consumer Report under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. This report includes detailed inquiries into an individual's character and personal life through interviews with acquaintances and is used primarily for background checks. ISO 27001, an international standard that outlines how to manage information security through an information security management system, ISMS. ISO 27002 provides best practice recommendations on information security management, acting as a supporting document to ISO 27001 and helping organizations secure their information assets. It architecture the structured framework within an organization that aligns IT strategies and technologies with business strategies, ensuring efficient technology use across the enterprise. It department the division within an organization responsible for managing and maintaining information technology systems and services. JavaScript a scripting language widely used to create interactive effects within web browsers, enhancing user experiences and website functionality. Identity verification the process of confirming an individual's identity using security measures and documentation, crucial in various authentication scenarios. Incident response a structured approach to addressing and managing the aftermath of a security breach or cyber attack, aiming to limit damage and reduce recovery time and costs. Indexing privacy refers to the methods used to organize and manage data in a way that respects privacy concerns, often involving techniques to anonymize or minimize data exposure. Information filtering the process of sieving through data to extract relevant information according to specified privacy standards and protocols. Information masking a data protection strategy used to hide sensitive information from unauthorized access during processing or storage. Information oversight the monitoring and regulation of information handling processes to ensure they comply with established privacy policies and legal requirements. Information parsing involves breaking down data into smaller elements for analysis or processing, ensuring sensitive information is handled with heightened security. Information quarantine isolating specific data to prevent unauthorized access or dissemination until the data's security or relevance can be verified. Information reconciliation the process of ensuring that all data collected and stored is accurate, up-to-date, and consistently reflects the true information. Information refinement enhancing the quality of information by removing inaccuracies or processing data to increase its value for decision-making. Information Registry, a database that stores information records systematically, often used to manage privacy concerns by controlling access and modifications. Information Stewardship, the management and oversight responsibilities adopted by organizations to protect data integrity and privacy throughout its life cycle. Information Symposium, a gathering or conference where information security and privacy practices are discussed, promoting a culture of data protection. Information Validation, the process of checking the accuracy and completeness of data to ensure it meets the necessary standards of data quality and security. Infrastructure protection measures and policies implemented to safeguard physical and IT infrastructures that support data processing and storage. Inheritance rights in data concerns the legal and ethical aspects of data ownership and access rights transferring from one entity to another upon termination or change of control. Initial privacy assessment and evaluation conducted at the beginning of a project or system implementation to identify potential privacy risks and their mitigation strategies.
Input validation ensuring that all data entered into a system is correct, appropriate, and secure, helping to prevent privacy breaches and data integrity issues. Insider threat management deals with detecting and preventing threats to an organization's security posed by people within the organization, such as employees or contractors. Integration privacy, the practice of designing systems and operations to inherently respect privacy, often by incorporating privacy-enhancing technologies from the start. Intellectual property protection, the safeguarding of creations of the mind, such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, and symbols, names, and images used in commerce, in a way that respects privacy and proprietary information. Interactive privacy interfaces, user interfaces designed to actively inform users about privacy settings and encourage more engaged management of their personal information. Interdependence of data security, the concept that the security of information in one part of a network or system can affect the overall security posture, highlighting the need for comprehensive protection strategies. Joint operations pertains to collaborative efforts involving supervisory authorities from different member states under the GDPR, particularly when data processing activities impact individuals across borders. This coordination is essential for maintaining regulatory consistency. Junk Fax Prevention Act of 2005, this U.S. legislation amends earlier restrictions by allowing fax-based marketing under the condition of an existing business relationship. It mandates that all marketing faxes include clear opt-out instructions to respect consumer preferences and prevent unwanted communications. Jurisdiction refers to the legal authority granted to courts over certain types of cases and the individuals involved. Jurisdiction can also define the geographical or topical boundaries within which such authority is exercised. Just-in-time notification, a privacy practice that involves informing users and obtaining their consent at the exact moment their information is being collected, enhancing transparency and user control. Joint data controllers, when two or more entities jointly determine the purposes and means of processing personal data, they are recognized as joint controllers, sharing responsibility for compliance with data protection regulations. Judicial redress the right of individuals, often non-citizens or residents of a country, to seek legal remedies in courts against unlawful privacy invasions or data breaches, ensuring fairness and accountability. Job applicant privacy concerns the handling of personal information submitted by job applicants, including how it is collected, stored, and used during the hiring process. JavaScript security encompasses the techniques and practices for securing JavaScript code against vulnerabilities and exploits that could lead to privacy breaches or data leaks. Journey data information collected about an individual's travel patterns and behaviors, which requires careful handling to protect privacy and prevent misuse. JSON Web Token, JWT, a compact, URL-safe means of representing claims securely between two parties, often used in token-based authentication systems. Juvenile Data Protection Special considerations and regulations that apply to collecting, processing, and storing data from individuals under a certain age, focusing on enhancing privacy safeguards. Juxtaposition risk the risk that arises when data from different sources is combined, potentially creating sensitive information that was not initially classified as such. Justifiable data retention refers to the practice of retaining data only for as long as is necessary for specified, legitimate purposes, in line with privacy principles and regulations. Judicious data sharing the cautious and considered sharing of data between organizations, ensuring that such exchanges comply with privacy laws and user consent. Juridical data review the legal examination of data practices to ensure they comply with relevant laws and regulations, typically conducted by legal professionals. Justification of data collection the requirement for organizations to clearly explain the necessity and legal basis for collecting personal data, supporting transparency and accountability. Jitter analysis a method used in data security to analyze the timing variations in transmitting data packets, which can help detect and mitigate privacy threats or attacks. Jargon minimization, the practice of reducing the use of technical or specialized language in privacy notices and communications to make information more accessible and understandable to users. Journalistic data exception, a provision in some privacy regulations that allows journalists to process personal data for news reporting without adhering to typical restrictions, provided they respect the principles of necessity and proportionality. Junction data systems, technological setups where data from multiple sources is converged and processed, requiring robust privacy controls to manage risks associated with data integration. Jurisdictional transfer restrictions legal limitations on the transfer of personal data across geographical or political boundaries, aimed at protecting data from being subjected to less stringent privacy regimes. Juvenile online privacy training educational programs aimed at teaching young internet users about privacy risks and safe online behaviors, fostering a culture of privacy from an early age. Just-in-time access controls security measures that grant access to data or systems only at the time it is needed for legitimate tasks, reducing the risk of unauthorized access or data exposure. Judicial data sealing the practice of legally restricting access to certain court records to protect the privacy of individuals involved in sensitive or personal legal matters. Jury data protection measures taken to secure the personal information of jurors to prevent undue influence or harm, 
maintaining the integrity of the judicial process. JWT security enhancements improvements and safeguards implemented in the handling and utilization of JSON web tokens to prevent exploitation and protect data transmissions. Juxtaposed regulation compliance the challenge and practice of adhering to multiple regulatory frameworks simultaneously, particularly when data spans different jurisdictions with varying privacy laws. Just-in sequence data processing a method where data is processed in a sequential order that aligns with operational. Law enforcement authority refers to official agencies empowered by local, regional, or national governments to uphold the law and detain lawbreakers. These authorities operate under the legal framework set to protect public welfare and order. Law enforcement authority, EU-specific, in Europe. Law enforcement authorities uphold the law while adhering to strict criminal procedure rules to safeguard privacy rights as stipulated in Article 8 of the ECHR and the Directive 2016-680, which governs the processing of personal data for law enforcement purposes. Law Enforcement Directive EU Directive 2016-680 outlines the norms for handling personal data by law enforcement authorities across the EU. This directive emphasizes data protection during the prevention, detection, and prosecution of crimes and safeguards against public security threats. Lawfulness under the GDPR, personal data processing must be lawful, fair, and transparent. Data subjects should be clearly informed about the data processing activities, ensuring they understand and consent to how the data is managed. Layered notice a privacy notice format recommended by the GDPR, featuring a concise top layer summarizing key points and a detailed bottom layer providing comprehensive data handling information to enhance understandability. Layered security policy a security strategy that employs multiple layers of defenses across the data processing ecosystem, detailing policies from high-level goals through to specific procedural implementations. Lead supervisory authority the main regulatory body for overseeing cross-border data processing activities within the EU serving as the primary point of contact for enterprises engaged in such processing. Least privilege, a fundamental security principle that restricts access rights for users to the bare minimum necessary to perform their tasks, effectively reducing potential risks. Legal basis for processing the GDPR mandates that data controllers justify the processing of personal data by one of six legal grounds, which include consent, contractual necessity, legal obligations, vital interests, public interest, or legitimate interests. Legitimate interests of control are one of the GDPR's legal bases for data processing, where the data controller's business interests are deemed legitimate and do not override the rights and freedoms of the data subjects. Legitimate processing criteria standards that determine the conditions under which personal data processing is considered legitimate, focusing on necessity and proportionality to the controller's operational needs. Limiting use the principle that personal data should not be utilized beyond the scope for which it was originally collected, except by obtaining further consent or as required by law. Lindkovist judgment a landmark ruling by the ECJ, which determined that web-based personal data disclosure without protection measures breaches EU data protection laws, highlighting the broad applicability of privacy regulations to online activities. Linkability the ability to associate different pieces of user data collected across various contexts to identify an individual, posing challenges for maintaining user anonymity. Local area network, LAN, a network infrastructure that connects computers within a limited area such as a home, school, laboratory, or office building, facilitating data communications and resource sharing. Local governance refers to the decentralization of decision-making to lower levels within an organization, promoting a more responsive and locally tailored administrative approach. Local shared objects, LSOs, also known as flash cookies. These are data files used to store user preferences and track website visits, more persistent than typical browser cookies. Location data information that pinpoints the geographic position of a device, utilized by various services to enhance functionalities like navigation, tracking, and personalized content delivery. Location-based service, Pounds, utilizes geographic data to provide services relevant to the user's current location, including social networking, advertising, and emergency services. Logs records of events or transactions, either automatically or manually entered, used to monitor, analyze, and secure data processing activities within IT systems. Low-level design detailed design phase that translates a high-level design into physical implementation, specifying all technical details and logistics for deployment. Legislative compliance adherence to laws and regulations within the jurisdiction where data is processed, often requiring policies and measures to protect personal data against misuse or breach. Log management the practice of aggregating, organizing, and managing log data generated by computers and networks, crucial for security, compliance, and operational monitoring. Longitudinal data analysis study of data collected from the same subjects over a period of time, often used in privacy research to understand changes in behavior or impact of policy changes. Loyalty program data management handling of personal information collected through customer loyalty programs, requiring careful attention to privacy concerns and consent management. 
Lucid Consent Framework a strategy for ensuring that data subjects are fully informed and actively consenting to data processing, enhancing transparency and trust. Legacy system data protection security measures and policies aimed at protecting personal information held within outdated IT systems, which may not comply with current security standards. Liveliness detection technologies used in authentication processes to detect signs of life, preventing unauthorized access via spoofing or the use of non-living replicas. Linked data privacy concerns associated with managing privacy risks when datasets are interconnected, particularly in semantic web technologies. Load balancing privacy strategies to ensure that data processing loads do not compromise the privacy or integrity of the information being handled. Localization of data processing adapting data processing operations to meet the legal and cultural expectations of privacy in different geographical locations. Machine learning a branch of artificial intelligence. Machine learning involves algorithms that enable systems to learn from data and make decisions, predictions, or inferences without explicit programming. These algorithms develop models from training data to perform tasks on new data enhancing applications like fraud detection and natural language processing. Machine-readable formats data formatted in a standard computer language that can be automatically read and processed by machines, enhancing compatibility and efficiency in digital interactions. Madrid Resolution A significant international agreement from the 2009 International Conference of Data Protection and Privacy Commissioners, proposing global privacy standards such as lawfulness, purpose specification, and accountability in data processing. Magnitude data data that represent quantities and sizes, such as tables displaying average income by age, offering insights into statistical distributions and trends. Main establishment in the EU, this refers to the location within the European Union where the principal decisions regarding data processing are made, determining the lead supervisory authority for regulatory purposes. Manageability the capability to effectively control the handling of personal data, including its alteration, disclosure, or deletion to ensure compliance and protection. Mandatory access control a security model where access to resources is managed by the system, based on predefined policies that restrict user permissions, enhancing data security. Matching program defined under the Privacy Act of 1974, it involves computerized comparisons of records to verify eligibility for or compliance with federal benefits programs. Material scope defines the extent of activities that are regulated under a specific law or policy, such as the GDPR's oversight of personal data processing. Max Schrems, an influential privacy advocate known for challenging transatlantic data transfer mechanisms, leading to significant legal precedents in EU data protection law. Media access control address a unique identifier assigned to network interfaces for communications at the data link layer of a network segment. Medical information data collected from healthcare providers with patient consent, used for medical treatment and healthcare operations, and protected under laws like HIPAA. Member state countries that are members of the European Union, each participating in the shared legislative and economic frameworks of the EU. Members of the European Parliament elected representatives in the European Parliament, who legislate, supervise, and budget for the EU, representing the interests of citizens from all member states. Memorandum of Understanding, Agreement, a formal agreement between parties to outline their responsibilities in collaborative projects, often used in contexts involving data sharing and privacy. Metadata data that provides information about other data, such as creation date, creator, or location, aiding in data management and organization. Metric life cycle the ongoing processes to develop and adapt metrics that effectively measure performance and outcomes relevant to an organization's goals. Metrics quantitative tools used to track efficiency, effectiveness, and compliance within systems, essential for informed decision-making and governance. Microdata sets data sets that contain records on individuals where direct identifiers have been removed or altered to prevent identification, enhancing privacy. Minimum necessary requirement A principle under HIPAA that mandates only the minimal amount of personal health information needed should be disclosed for a specific purpose. Mobile device management, MDM, software that allows for the centralized control of mobile devices to ensure security and compliance, particularly significant in BYOD policies. Mobility the capability of digital systems, particularly mobile phones and laptops, to provide connectivity and functionality across different locations. Model clauses standard contractual clauses used to ensure adequate protection when personal data are transferred outside the EU, also known as standard contractual clauses. Model code for the protection of personal information a framework mirroring the OECD's privacy guidelines, emphasizing principles like accountability, consent, and limited collection and use of personal data. Monetary instrument log under the Bank Secrecy Act, records of transactions involving monetary instruments between specific amounts that must be kept by financial institutions. Multi-factor authentication a security measure requiring multiple forms of verification to confirm a user's identity, significantly enhancing protection against unauthorized access. Mutual assistance a provision under the GDPR requiring supervisory authorities to support each other to ensure consistent application of data protection laws across the EU.
National Archives and Records Administration, NARA. NARA is responsible for overseeing the preservation and documentation of government and historical records. It ensures public access to historically significant records and offers guidance on records management for federal agencies, including establishing schedules for retaining or disposing of records. National Do Not Call Registry, U.S., a system that allows U.S. residents to opt out of receiving unsolicited commercial telemarketing calls. It's enforced by the Federal Trade Commission and other regulatory bodies, with significant penalties for violations. National Initiative for Cybersecurity Education Cybersecurity Workforce Framework, NICE. This framework provides a structured approach to developing a cybersecurity workforce by defining common terminology and skill sets across all sectors. It helps align public, private, and academic sector workforce capabilities in cybersecurity. National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, an agency within the U.S. Department of Commerce, NIST develops standards and guidelines, including those for cybersecurity risk management as mandated by federal law, to improve security across governmental agencies. National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, framework a voluntary framework that helps organizations manage cybersecurity-related risks. The NIST cybersecurity framework is designed to guide enterprises in developing a robust cybersecurity posture. National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, a U.S. federal agency that enforces U.S. labor law in relation to collective bargaining and unfair labor practices, providing guidance and oversight to ensure fair labor practices across the country. National Security Letter, NSL, a form of subpoena authority used by U.S. federal agencies in national security investigations to demand the disclosure of information without a court order, expanding the government's surveillance capacity under specific statutes. Nationwide Consumer Reporting Agency, these agencies collect and compile personal and financial data from a variety of sources to assist creditors, employers, and landlords in assessing the creditworthiness, employment suitability, and housing eligibility of individuals. Nationwide Specialty Consumer Reporting Agency, a type of consumer reporting agency that gathers detailed information about individuals' medical history, rental history, or employment background, used for specialized purposes. Natural Language Processing, NLP a technology that enables machines to understand and interpret human language, making it possible for users to interact with computers using everyday language to perform tasks like translation, sentiment analysis, and topic segmentation. Natural language understanding a subset of NLP. This involves the application of computational techniques to the goal of understanding natural language input, enabling machines to understand and generate human-like responses to text and voice. Necessity in data protection. Necessity involves evaluating whether data collection or processing is strictly necessary for the stated purpose, aligned with the principles of data minimization and proportionality under regulations like the GDPR. Negligence in the context of privacy law. Negligence occurs when an entity fails to exercise the care that a reasonably prudent entity would under similar circumstances, leading to an unauthorized disclosure or a privacy breach. Network centricity refers to the design philosophy that emphasizes the importance of the network in delivering application and data services, where personal information is processed and managed across network systems. Network devices hardware components that facilitate the interconnection of computers and other devices to transmit, route, and process data across networks. Network encryption a security technique that involves encrypting data at the network layer, ensuring secure data transmissions across networks by making the data unintelligible to unauthorized interceptors. Network layer attacks cyber attacks targeting the network infrastructure, aiming to intercept, alter, or redirect data as it travels across the network, often involving methods like spoofing and denial of service attacks. Noise addition, a privacy-enhancing technique used in data processing that involves adding random data to actual data sets to protect individual data points from identification, particularly in aggregated data sets. Non-functional system requirement specifications that define the attributes of a system, such as reliability, efficiency, and privacy shaping how the system operates rather than what it does. Non-public personal information, NPI, under GLBA. This includes any personally identifiable financial information that is not publicly available and is protected from unauthorized access and disclosure. Non-repudiation, a security measure that prevents an individual or entity from denying having performed a particular action related to data, ensuring both the origin and integrity of the data can be verified. Obfuscation, the practice of making information or data less clear or less easy to understand in order to conceal its meaning. In data privacy, obfuscation is often used to protect sensitive information from unauthorized access while maintaining its utility. Objective harm refers to harm that can be specifically identified and measured following a privacy breach, demonstrating a direct impact on an individual's privacy and well-being. OECD guidelines established principles by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, guiding international data protection and privacy. These guidelines emphasize the protection of personal data across borders and recommend standards for transparency, accountability, and user participation. Office of Management and Budget, OMB, a U.S. government office responsible for overseeing federal agency implementation of the Privacy Act, 
developing necessary guidelines, and ensuring compliance with data management and privacy policies. Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, oversees the U.S. intelligence community, ensuring integration and coordination across national security and intelligence functions, with a focus on adhering to laws that protect privacy and civil liberties. OMB Memorandum MO322A Directive that outlines requirements for federal agencies to conduct privacy impact assessments and develop website privacy policies to ensure transparent, standardized, and accountable handling of personally identifiable information. Omnibus laws comprehensive laws that apply broadly across various sectors and types of data, as opposed to sector-specific regulations that target particular industries or data categories. One-stop shop A mechanism under the EU's General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, allowing businesses to interact with a single lead data protection authority for cross-border data processing issues, simplifying regulatory engagement. Online behavioral advertising the practice of tracking online activities, preferences, and behaviors to deliver targeted advertisements. This tracking involves analyzing various data points to optimize advertising relevance and effectiveness. Online data storage, the practice of storing data on servers accessed via the internet, commonly known as cloud storage. This method provides flexible, scalable, and often cost-effective data management solutions compared to local storage. Online Privacy Alliance, a coalition of online service providers and technology companies that promotes self-regulation in privacy practices, advocating for responsible data management and user privacy protection online. Onward transfer in data protection refers to the further transfer of personal data from one third party to another, extending beyond the initial disclosure from data controller to processor, requiring that all parties maintain the integrity and confidentiality of the data. Open Government Directive, a U.S. initiative aimed at enhancing transparency, participation, and collaboration in government operations. It mandates federal agencies to take specific actions to open up government data and processes to the public. Open source versus closed source differentiates between software models. Open source software allows users to view, modify, and share its code, while closed source software restricts modifications to the original vendor. Openness a principle in data protection that emphasizes transparency about data collection, usage, and management policies. Entities should provide clear information about the data handling practices and the rights of data subjects. Opinions of the Article 29 Working Party guidance provided by the now-defunct Article 29 Working Party, which advised on data protection matters in the EU, serving as a precursor to the European Data Protection Board, EDPB. Opt-in a consent mechanism requiring affirmative action from the individual before personal data can be processed or shared. This approach emphasizes proactive user engagement in the consent process. Opt-in, EU-specific, under the GDPR, this form of consent requires a clear affirmative action from data subjects indicating their agreement to process personal data, reflecting the regulation's high standard for consent. Opt-out allows individuals to decline or withdraw from data processing activities, often used in contexts where consent is assumed unless explicitly denied. Opt-out, EU-specific. In the EU, the GDPR requires a clear affirmative act for consent, making traditional opt-out approaches generally insufficient for lawful data processing. Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, an international body that develops policy guidelines to promote economic progress and trade, providing a framework for privacy and data protection among member and non-member countries. Outsourcing the practice of delegating business processes or operations, including those involving personal data processing, to external service providers. Outsourcing, EU-specific. Within the EU, outsourcing activities involving personal data processing are subject to strict GDPR requirements to ensure data protection, including specific obligations for data processors and controllers. Paperwork Reduction Act. U.S. law aimed at minimizing the paperwork burden for individuals and agencies in interactions with the federal government, ensuring efficient and necessary information collection. Passive collection. The process of acquiring data without the active engagement or awareness of the user, often unobtrusive and automatic. Passive data collection. Method of gathering information automatically as users navigate digital services, typically through cookies and web beacons. Patches. Software updates that fix bugs, close security vulnerabilities, or enhance functionalities. PCI Data Security Standard, PCI DSS, security standards ensuring that all entities that process, store, or transmit credit card information maintain a secure environment. PCI Security Standards Council, organization responsible for the development and management of the PCI security standards, including the PCI DSS. Performance Measurement, the activity of evaluating the efficiency, effectiveness, and compliance of operations through quantifiable metrics. Perimeter Controls, Security measures that protect a network by preventing unauthorized external access, typically involving firewalls and intrusion detection systems. Persistent storage. Data storage on non-volatile media like hard drives or SSDs, which retains data after the device is turned off. Personal data. 
information relating to an identified or identifiable individual, widely covered under the GDPR for protection and compliance. Personal Information Protection and Electronic Documents Act, PIPEDA, Canadian federal privacy law regulating how businesses must handle personal information in commercial activities. Personally identifiable information, PII, information that can identify, contact, or locate a single person, or distinguish one person in context. Farming, cyber attack redirecting a website's traffic to another, fraudulent site by exploiting DNS or system vulnerabilities. Phishing, attempt to acquire sensitive information such as usernames and passwords by masquerading as a trustworthy entity in electronic communications. Peer triggers, events that necessitate a privacy impact assessment, such as significant changes in data handling practices or new technology deployments. Platform for Privacy Preferences, P3P, protocol allowing websites to declare their privacy practices in a machine-readable format. Policy Framework, collection of policies governing an organization's approach to operations and strategy, including privacy and data management. Polygraph, device measuring physiological indicators to assess truthfulness, commonly known as a lie detector. Post Method, web development method for submitting form data, providing enhanced security over the get method by hiding data in the request body. Postal Marketing, Direct marketing technique involving the sending of promotional materials through postal mail. Predictability. The extent to which the outcomes of a system's behavior can be anticipated based on its design and operational parameters. Preemption. Legal doctrine allowing higher authority laws to supersede low authority regulations, common in federal systems. Privacy. The right of individuals to control the collection, use, and exposure of their personal information. Privacy Act of 1974, U.S. law that regulates how federal agencies handle personal information and establishes a code of fair information practices. Privacy Assessment, evaluation to identify and mitigate privacy risks, ensuring compliance with privacy laws and organizational policies. Privacy Breach, unauthorized access to or disclosure of personal information that can lead to significant harm or inconvenience. Privacy by Design, principle that calls for privacy to be considered throughout the system engineering process. Privacy Champion, an executive within an organization who promotes and advocates for privacy practices and education. Privacy Commissioner of Canada, official overseeing compliance with Canadian privacy laws and providing guidance on privacy policies. Privacy Engineering, discipline focusing on embedding privacy features and considerations into IT system designs and business practices. Privacy Impact Assessment, PEER, process used to evaluate privacy risks associated with the collection and use of personal data. Privacy Maturity Model, framework for assessing the maturity level of an organization's privacy practices and identifying areas for improvement. Privacy Notice, document informing individuals about how the personal data will be collected, used, disclosed, and protected by an organization. Privacy Operational Lifecycle, framework outlining continuous processes necessary to maintain privacy compliance and adapt to business or legal changes. Privacy Patterns, reusable solutions to common privacy problems in software development. Privacy Policy, Document governing how an organization handles personal information directed at those who manage or make decisions regarding personal data. Privacy Program Framework, set of documented privacy procedures and processes that guide the privacy professional through privacy management within an organization. Privacy Review, audit conducted to ensure compliance with privacy policies and legal obligations at the early stages of project development. Privacy Risk, potential harm that could result from the improper processing, storage, or handling of personal data. Privacy Rule, HIPAA rule that protects personal health information, setting standards for its use and disclosure by covered entities. Privacy standard, benchmark for privacy practices within an organization, often aligned with legal requirements and best practice frameworks. Privacy technologist, role focused on implementing and managing technologies that support privacy protections and compliance. Privacy threshold analysis, preliminary evaluation to determine the necessity of a detailed privacy impact assessment for a new project or system. Privacy enhancing technologies, PETs, Technologies designed specifically to protect user privacy by minimizing personal data usage and maximizing data security. Private right of action. Legal right permitting individuals to sue for relief or damages when their privacy has been violated. Profiling. Automated processing of personal data to evaluate certain personal aspects, such as behavior or preferences. Programmatic buying. Automated purchase of advertising space using algorithms, enhancing efficiency and targeting in digital advertising campaigns. Proportionality. Principle requiring that personal data processing not exceed what is necessary for the purposes for which it is processed. Protect. Phase in the privacy operational life cycle focused on implementing protective measures for personal data. Protected health information, FI, information under HIPAA that includes any data about health status, healthcare provision, or payment for healthcare that can be linked to an individual. Protecting Canadians from Online Crime Act, 
law addressing cyberbullying and facilitating police access to online data to combat online crimes. Protective order. Legal directive limiting the disclosure of sensitive information in legal proceedings to protect privacy or confidentiality. Pseudonymization. Process of transforming personal data in such a way that it can no longer be attributed to a specific data subject without additional information. Pseudonymous data. Data that cannot directly identify an individual but allows for the activity of a user to be tracked through pseudonyms. Psychographic advertising. Advertising based on psychological attributes including a user's interests, lifestyle, and activities to tailor marketing messages. Public interest. Legal basis under the GDPR for processing personal data necessary for performing tasks for the common good or exercising official authority. Public key infrastructure, PKI, system of digital certificates and cryptographic keys that secure communications and verify the authenticity of data and users in electronic transactions. Public records. Information maintained by government entities that are available to the public, subject to privacy regulations and exemptions. Publicity given to private life. Legal principle addressing the unauthorized public disclosure of private facts, potentially constituting an invasion of privacy. Publicly available information. Information accessible to the general public and legally obtained from public records or other openly accessible sources. Qualified Protective Order, QPO, a legal requirement under HIPAA that restricts the use or disclosure of protected health information to the litigation process and mandates its return or destruction at the end of litigation. Quality Attributes, key factors in software development that influence system behavior and user experience, such as privacy, which can be integrated into systems through privacy by design principles. Quantum Encryption, Encryption technology that utilizes principles of quantum mechanics to secure data transmissions, ensuring that any interception or eavesdropping attempts are detectable. Radio frequency identification, RFID, technology that uses radio waves to automatically identify objects or individuals equipped with RFID tags containing electronic information. Random testing, legal drug or substance testing performed without advance notice, primarily in safety-sensitive industries to enhance workplace safety and compliance. Re-identification, The process of restoring identifying properties to data that was previously anonymized or pseudonymized, highlighting potential privacy risks. Real ID Act, a U.S. federal law aimed at enhancing the reliability and accuracy of state-issued identification documents to prevent terrorism and reduce fraud. Reasonable suspicion. The legal standard in various contexts, such as employment, that allows for actions like testing based on observable behaviors indicative of drug or alcohol use. Record-keeping obligation. Under the GDPR, certain businesses must maintain records of data processing activities, especially when processing poses a risk to data subjects. Rectification. The right under data protection laws for individuals to have incorrect or incomplete personal data corrected. Red flags rule. A regulation requiring financial institutions and creditors to implement programs to detect, prevent, and mitigate identity theft. Redaction. The process of editing documents to obscure or remove confidential information before disclosure or publication. Remarketing. Digital advertising strategy that targets users who have previously interacted with online content or services, aiming to re-engage them. Remedies, liability, and penalties. Provisions under GDPR outlining the consequences of compliance failures, including data subject rights to compensation and regulatory penalties for violations. Remnant advertising. Low-cost online advertising that is placed where higher value ads are not sold, often lacking user personalization. Repurposing. The use of collected data for a different purpose than originally specified without obtaining new consent from the data subject. Resilience. The ability of data processing systems to continue to operate effectively in the face of adverse conditions or attacks. Respond. The final phase in the privacy operational life cycle, focusing on addressing incidents and legal requests to mitigate risks and ensure compliance. Retargeting. Online advertising that uses cookies to display ads to users based on their previous internet behavior. Retention. Policy of retaining personal data only as long as necessary for the purposes for which it was collected. Return on investment, ROI, measurement of the financial return on investments, specifically evaluating the cost effectiveness of privacy enhancing technologies and practices. Right not to be subject to fully automated decisions, GDPR provision allowing individuals to object to decisions made solely by automated processes that have legal effects on them. Right of access, allows individuals to obtain a copy of the data and information about how it is being processed. Right to be forgotten, Enables individuals to have their personal data erased from particular services or databases. Right to correct. Entitles individuals to have inaccurate personal data corrected or completed if it is incomplete. Right to deletion. Similar to the right to be forgotten, it involves the removal of personal data from a controller's records. Right to Financial Privacy Act of 1978. U.S. law regulating government access to private financial records without customer consent. Right to no sale. The right of consumers to prevent the sale of their personal data to third parties.
Right to object provides individuals with the ability to dispute the processing of their personal data by a data controller. Right to object to automated decision making allows individuals to challenge decisions made about them based solely on automated processing. Right to privacy, a legal concept that individuals have the right to lead their lives in a manner that is reasonably secluded from public scrutiny. Right to restriction, allows individuals to request that their personal data's processing be limited under certain circumstances. Risk assessment factors, considerations used to evaluate the security and privacy risks associated with data processing activities. Role-based access controls, security measures that grant data access based on the user's role within the organization. RSA encryption, a widely used encryption technique that secures data transmissions with keys derived from the product of two large prime numbers. Runtime behavior monitoring, continuous analysis of system operation to detect and respond to anomalies that could indicate security or privacy breaches. Safe Harbor, refer to the EU-US Safe Harbor Agreement, which was a framework for regulating transatlantic exchanges of personal data for commercial purposes between the EU and the US. Sarbanes-Oxley Act, SOX, US law passed in 2002 that mandates higher transparency from publicly held companies, particularly concerning financial reporting and whistleblower protections. Schrems I, case that led to the invalidation of the EU-US Safe Harbor Agreement due to concerns over US surveillance practices affecting EU citizens' data privacy rights. Schrems II, Follow up to Schrems I where the EU's Court of Justice invalidated the EU-US Privacy Shield Agreement, questioning the safety of transferring personal data to the US. SEAL programs, certification programs that allow businesses to display a seal of approval for complying with specific privacy standards and practices. Secondary use, the practice of using collected personal data for purposes other than those for which it was originally collected, without the data subject's consent. Secret key, a cryptographic key used with a symmetric encryption algorithm, kept confidential to ensure data security. Section 208 of the E-Government Act mandates that U.S. government agencies provide clear privacy notices on their websites explaining the data collection and use practices. Sectoral laws. Laws that apply to specific sectors of the economy, detailing required protections for personal data within those sectors. Secure Sockets Layer, SSL, a cryptographic protocol designed to provide secure communication over a computer network. Security Policy a set of rules and practices that regulate how an organization manages and protects sensitive information. Security safeguards, measures required to protect personal data from loss, unauthorized access, or disclosure as part of the fair information practices. Sedona Conference, organization providing guidance on best practices in managing electronic records and e-discovery. Self-regulation model, approach where industries create and enforce their own privacy standards, subject to basic government guidelines. Semaine's case, Historical legal case establishing the principle that one's home is private, contributing to modern privacy law and search and seizure protections. Senate, Canadian, a point of Upper House of Canada's Parliament, involved in legislative review and governance, including privacy law considerations. Senior agency official for privacy, designated leader responsible for overseeing an organization's data privacy policies and compliance at the national or agency-wide level. Sensitive personal information, data that, due to its nature, has significant privacy implications, such as health, financial, or biometric data. Separate, strategy of isolating personal data during processing to minimize risk of unauthorized correlation and re-identification. Single-factor authentication, basic security process that requires only one method of verification of the user's identity to gain system access. Single sign-on, SSO, authentication process that allows a user to access multiple applications with one set of login credentials. Six major European Union institutions, the key EU bodies responsible for legislation, administration, and judicial review within the EU. Smart Grid, enhanced electrical grid using digital communications technology to detect and react to local changes in usage. Social engineering, tactics that manipulate individuals into divulging confidential or personal information that may be used for fraudulent purposes. Software Requirement Specification, SRS, a document that fully defines what the software will do and how it will be expected to perform. Spam, Unsolicited commercial email often sent in bulk and without the recipient's permission. Spear phishing, highly targeted form of phishing that involves bespoke emails designed to fool specifically targeted individuals into divulging confidential information. Special categories of data, under GDPR, personal data revealing racial or ethnic origin, political opinions, religious beliefs, or data concerning health, which require higher protection. Speech recognition, technology that can identify and interpret spoken language, converting it into text. SQL injection, a type of cyber attack that uses malicious SQL code for back-end database manipulation to access information that was not intended to be displayed. Stakeholders, key individuals within an organization who are responsible for managing and safeguarding privacy-related processes and data.
Standard model clauses, contractual clauses used in agreements to ensure that data transferred outside the EU is still protected in compliance with European data protection standards. Standardized icons, symbols used in data protection and privacy to convey specific privacy-related information visually and succinctly. Storage encryption, encryption of data at rest, ensuring that stored data is inaccessible without proper authorization. Storage limitation, principle that data should not be retained for longer than necessary for the purposes for which it is processed, with exceptions for archiving in the public interest. Stored Communications Act, SCA, part of the Electronic Communications Privacy Act that protects stored electronic communications from unauthorized surveillance. Strategic management, the process of defining an organization's strategy or direction and making decisions on allocating resources to pursue this strategy, including data privacy strategies. Structured query language, SQL, programming language designed for managing data held in a relational database management system. Subjective harm, perceived damage or distress experienced by an individual due to privacy violations, even if no objective harm is evident. Subpoena, legal document ordering someone to court to testify or produce evidence within their control. Substance testing, the act of checking for drug use, typically in an employment context to ensure workplace safety and compliance with law. Substitute notice, a method used to notify a large group of affected individuals about a data breach, especially when individual notices are impractical or costly. Super cookie, a type of cookie that is designed to be permanently stored on a user's device and reinstalled if deleted. Supervisory authority, the public authority in an EU member state responsible for monitoring the application of the GDPR, ensuring compliance across sectors. Supply-side platform, SSP, a technology platform that enables publishers to manage their advertising impression inventory and maximize revenue from digital media. Surveillance, monitoring of behavior, activities, or information for the purpose of information gathering, influencing, managing, or directing. Surveillance collection, the collection of data by observing or monitoring activities without engaging with or altering the data subject's behavior. Sustain, Phase in the privacy operational life cycle focusing on maintaining ongoing privacy practices through continuous improvement and regular assessments. Symmetric key encryption. Encryption method where the same key is used for both encryption and decryption, enhancing data security but requiring secure key management. Syndicated content. Content sourced from third parties and published on different platforms, which can pose security risks if not properly managed. System of records notice. SORN a public notice regarding the existence and character of a system of records maintained by a federal agency, as required under the Privacy Act. Systems Development Life Cycle, SDLC, a methodology for designing, creating, testing, and deploying an information system with considerations for privacy and security integrated throughout the process. Technology-based model, utilizes advanced technology to protect personal data both for companies and consumers, adapting to ongoing developments in hardware and software. Telephone Consumer Protection Act of 1991, TCPA, U.S. legislation that limits unsolicited telemarketing calls and faxes, providing consumers with a right to file lawsuits and receive damages for violations. Terms of service. Legal agreements that users must accept to use a service, defining the rights and responsibilities of both the service provider and the user. Territorial privacy. Concerns the limits on physical or virtual intrusion into an individual's personal space or activities, extending privacy protections beyond the home to workplaces and public spaces. Territorial scope defines the jurisdictional reach of laws like the GDPR, which applies to entities within the EU and those outside the EU that process EU residents' data. The Data Quality Act ensures that information disseminated by federal agencies is accurate, reliable, and unbiased, impacting privacy indirectly through overlaps with Privacy Act data quality requirements. Third-party collection, the practice of obtaining data from sources other than the individual whom it concerns, which can pose privacy risks if not managed with transparency and consent. Tokenization, The process of substituting sensitive data elements with non-sensitive equivalents called tokens, which cannot be reverse-engineered or used outside of the tokenization system. Traffic data, information processed for transmitting or billing communications, such as the time, duration, and destination of a phone call or email. Transfer, the act of moving personal data from one entity or jurisdiction to another, subject to compliance with data protection laws. Transient storage, temporary data storage that is intended to be short-lived, typically used for session management in web applications. Transit, the process of data packets moving across networks from sender to receiver, crucial for the functioning of the internet and telecommunications. Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, a foundational internet protocol that ensures reliable, ordered, and error-checked delivery of a stream of data between applications. Transparency, the principle that information related to data processing should be provided to the data subject in a clear, understandable, and accessible manner. Transport Layer Security, TLS, security protocol that provides encryption for data in transit ensuring that internet communications remain confidential and secure. 
Treaty of Lisbon, a reformative agreement that altered the constitutional basis of the EU, enhancing its operational efficiency and embedding data protection obligations across its institutions. Trojan Horse, a type of malicious software disguised as legitimate software used by cyber criminals to gain access to user systems. Trusted Platform Module, TPM, a specialized chip on an endpoint device that provides hardware-based security functions, including generation and storage of encryption keys. Two-step verification, an additional security layer for online accounts that requires two forms of identification from the user during login, often combining something the user knows, password, with something the user has, security token. Type 1 and Type 2 errors, statistical terms used in data processing to describe the occurrence of false positives, Type 1, and false negatives, Type 2, important in the context of privacy for ensuring the accuracy of data matching or filtering technologies. Typology of consent. A classification of different types of consent used in data protection, ranging from explicit consent for sensitive data to implied consent for less intrusive data processing activities. Technical safeguards. Security measures that protect data integrity, confidentiality, and availability through technological means, often part of an organization's broader information security strategy. Technology assessment. The process of evaluating the implications of new technologies, including their potential impact on privacy and security before their adoption. Telemetry data, data collected remotely and automatically, often used for monitoring and diagnostic purposes in a variety of technical and scientific fields. Temporal controls, security measures that limit access to data or systems based on time constraints, such as access permissions that expire after a certain period. Text mining, the process of extracting valuable information from text sources which involves the analysis of data found in books, emails, and online sources for patterns or trends. Third-party risk management, the practice of assessing and mitigating risks associated with outsourcing operations to third-party vendors, particularly concerning the security and privacy of shared data. Threshold analysis, a preliminary evaluation to determine if a proposed data processing activity or technology meets a certain level of risk or impact, requiring further review or specific measures. Token system, a security system that uses a physical or digital token to authenticate a user's identity, often used in conjunction with a password for enhanced security. Traceability, the capability to verify the history, location, or application of an item by means of documented recorded identification. Trade secret protection, measures taken to secure business information that is not generally known and provides a competitive advantage, including steps to prevent unauthorized access to confidential data. Transactional data, Information generated through transactions, including details about the transaction time, participants, and effects, often used for analysis and compliance. Transborder data flows, the movement of personal data across national borders, subject to regulatory controls and restrictions to protect privacy and ensure legal compliance. Transcoding, the process of converting a file or a data stream from one format to another, used in data management and media applications. Transfer impact assessment, an evaluation required under data protection laws for certain cross-border data transfers, assessing the risks and the adequacy of protections in the recipient country. Transparency Initiative, efforts by organizations to provide clear, accessible information about their data processing activities to stakeholders, enhancing accountability and trust. Trend Analysis, the practice of collecting information and attempting to spot a pattern or trend in the information, often used in data analytics for predicting future behavior based on historical data. Tribunal Records, Records maintained by judicial or quasi-judicial bodies, which may include sensitive personal data subject to privacy protections and access controls. Trusted execution environment, T, a secure area of a main processor in a smartphone or other device that ensures sensitive data is stored, processed, and protected in a trusted environment. Typology of privacy, various classifications and considerations of privacy, including informational, bodily, territorial, and communications privacy, reflecting different contexts and legal frameworks. User Acceptance Testing, UAT, the phase in software development where the software is tested in the real world by the intended audience, ensuring it can handle required tasks in real-world scenarios. User Behavior Analytics, Uber, security process that uses big data analytics to detect potentially harmful behavior on a network by analyzing patterns that deviate from the norm. Utility Data, data that is functional and necessary for the operation of a utility service, such as electricity, water, or telecommunications. Ubiquitous Computing, a model of computing in which computing is made to appear everywhere and anywhere via the proliferation of microprocessors contained in everyday objects. Unbundled consent, a form of consent where the user has the option to agree to different aspects of data processing independently, rather than as a single package, enhancing user control over personal data. Unstructured data, data that either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined manner, requiring specialized processing to derive meaning and support decision-making. Upstream collection, 
a method of data collection where data is collected directly from the source before it has been filtered or processed for use in databases or systems. URL filtering, the practice of blocking access to certain URLs or websites based on a blacklist or criteria set by an administrator to prevent exposure to harmful content or to ensure compliance with organizational policies. Usage patterns, the general patterns of behavior exhibited by users of a system or service, which can be analyzed to improve system design and security. User-centric privacy, a privacy approach that emphasizes giving users control over their personal data and making privacy-enhancing tools widely available to them. User consent, a common legal basis for processing personal data, where the user explicitly agrees to the processing of their personal data for a specified purpose. User data, information that is collected by applications or services about their users, which can include personal preferences, usage statistics, and online activities. User experience design, the process of designing products that provide a meaningful and relevant experience to users, including aspects such as design, usability, and function. User-generated content, content created and shared by users of online platforms, which can include text, videos, and images, often subject to data protection laws regarding personal information. User identity management, systems and processes that ensure that the right individuals access the right resources at the right times and for the right reasons, enhancing security and compliance. User privacy, refers to the rights of users to control their personal information and protect themselves from unauthorized use of that information. User profile, data representing a user's preferences or needs, used by systems to provide a tailored experience, often sensitive due to its personal nature. User rights management, the administration of user rights and permissions within a system to ensure appropriate access to data based on user roles and responsibilities. Utility function privacy, the practice of embedding privacy into the very utility functions of applications and systems, ensuring privacy is considered at every step of the development and deployment process. UX design in privacy, applying user experience design principles to privacy, ensuring that privacy controls are accessible, understandable, and effective for users. US Department of Labor, oversees the welfare of US job seekers, wage earners, and retirees, enforcing laws like the Fair Labor Standards Act and the Occupational Safety and Health Act. Ubiquitous computing, integrates information processing into everyday objects and activities, becoming invisible, yet functional within our environments. Unambiguous consent, clearly and unmistakably agreed upon, meeting GDPR standards for consent as freely given, specific, informed, and unambiguous. Unfair trade practices, business practices causing significant, unavoidable harm without benefits, governed by regulations like the US Federal Trade Commission Act. Unified modeling language, UML, a graphical language in software engineering that aids in the visualization and specification of software systems. Uniform resource locator, URL, the address of a resource on the internet, indicating where it can be found on the network. United States Department of Health, Education and Welfare Fair Information Practice Principles, 1973, early guidelines to ensure that personal data records are not secret, are correctable, and are used only for stated purposes. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, a foundational human rights document from the UN that includes rights against arbitrary interference with privacy. Urgency procedure, a GDPR mechanism allowing quick action to protect rights without usual procedural steps in cases of urgent need. US CERT, collaborates with various sectors to improve the US's cybersecurity posture and coordinate responses to immediate threats. US CERT its security essential body of knowledge, a comprehensive framework detailing core competencies necessary for IT security professionals. USA Patriot Act, a U.S. law enhancing law enforcement investigatory tools, especially in terms of surveillance and privacy implications. Use limitation, principle that personal data should not be used beyond the purposes explicitly outlined when it was collected. User stories, descriptions of software functionality from an end-user perspective to guide developers in creating user-focused systems. User-based access controls, security measures that grant or restrict user access based on individual identity and corresponding permissions. Utility data, Data generated by public utilities essential for operational management and consumer billing. Ubiquitous encryption. Encryption methods applied universally across all data transfers, ensuring continuous protection of data integrity and confidentiality. Unstructured data handling. Techniques used to manage data that is not organized in a predefined manner, often requiring specialized analytics tools. User empowerment. Initiatives designed to increase users' control over their personal data and enhance their understanding of privacy settings. User interface design for privacy, the practice of designing user interfaces that enhance the user's ability to understand and control their privacy settings effectively. Uptime commitment, guarantees provided by service providers regarding the availability and reliability of their services, which can impact data integrity and availability. Urban surveillance regulations, legal frameworks that govern the use of surveillance technologies in urban environments to balance safety with privacy rights. URL filtering, 
the practice of blocking access to certain URLs to prevent exposure to harmful content or to enforce organizational policies regarding internet use. Usability testing and privacy. Testing how intuitive and easy to use privacy controls are for users, ensuring they are accessible to all individuals. Use case scenarios for privacy. Detailed narratives used to predict how data might be accessed or misused under different scenarios to enhance protective measures. User consent verification. Processes to ensure that consent obtained from users is valid, verifiable, and compliant with legal standards. User data portability. The ability for users to request and receive the data from one service provider and transfer it to another, enhancing control over personal information. User-driven data management. Systems that allow users to directly manage, monitor, and control their personal data, improving transparency and trust. Utility computing models and privacy. Examining how utility computing models, such as cloud services, handle privacy concerns related to data storage and processing. Ubiquitous network access control, security practices ensuring that network access is consistently managed across all devices and locations, safeguarding sensitive data. Ultra-private communication protocols, communication protocols designed to ensure supreme levels of privacy and security, often utilizing advanced encryption techniques. Unified privacy frameworks, comprehensive approaches to managing privacy across various jurisdictions and industries aimed at standardizing privacy practices. Value-added services, additional services offered beyond basic offerings, enhancing primary business services with features like SMS and MMS in telecommunications. Value-sensitive design, an approach integrating human values, including privacy and fairness, into technology design throughout the development process. Vendor management, process of assessing third-party vendors' privacy and security policies and their access to personal information. Verification, a security measure ensuring that data, transactions, or identities are validated for integrity and authenticity. Video surveillance. The use of cameras to monitor activities within public or private spaces, often used for security purposes. Video surveillance guidelines. Rules ensuring that video surveillance is used appropriately, including public notification and protection of recorded individuals' privacy. Virtual private network, VPN, technology that creates a secure network connection over a public network, enhancing data privacy and security. Vital interests, situations where data processing is necessary to protect life, used as a legal basis for processing under strict conditions. Voice over internet protocol, VoIP, technology allowing voice communications over the internet, posing potential security risks if not encrypted. Vulnerability management, the ongoing process of identifying, assessing, and addressing security vulnerabilities in technology environments. Web beacon, small objects embedded in web pages or emails that monitor user behavior on websites and track email views. WebTrust, a SEAL program that certifies that websites adhere to certain privacy standards and secure online transactions. Whaling, a type of targeted phishing aimed at high-profile individuals or high-stakes situations, often involving substantial financial transactions. Whistleblowing, reporting illegal or unethical activities within an organization, protected under various laws to safeguard the whistleblower's rights. Wide Area Network, 1. A network that extends over a large geographical area, providing connectivity between distant locations. Work product information refers to data related to an individual's employment duties, considered personal information if it reflects personal aspects. Works councils, representative bodies in EU companies that consult on employee rights including privacy and data protection, especially in Germany. Worm, a self-replicating malware that spreads across computers, typically causing harm by consuming bandwidth or corrupting data. Write once read many, worm, storage technology allowing data to be written once and read many times, ensuring data cannot be altered once written. VPN security protocols, set of rules and processes that secure VPN communications, ensuring data transmitted over a VPN is encrypted and secure. Visual privacy, protecting personal information from unauthorized visual access, such as on computer screens or documents. Voluntary compliance, a regulatory approach where entities choose to comply with privacy standards without legal compulsion. Voice authentication, use of voice recognition technology as a means of verifying an individual's identity based on the unique vocal characteristics. Virtual Data Room, an online repository used for storing and distributing documents, typically used during legal and financial transactions. Visitor Management Systems, systems that track the usage of a facility by specific visitors and provide documentation of visitors' whereabouts. Vital Records Protection, the safeguarding of documents deemed essential for an organization's survival in the event of a disaster. Voting Anonymity, ensuring that voters remain anonymous, protecting their privacy while maintaining the integrity of the electoral process. Web Filtering, the practice of blocking access to web content based on certain criteria, often used to enforce privacy or security policies. Website privacy certifications, marks or seals awarded to websites that meet specific privacy standards, helping users identify compliant sites. Wireless security protocols, 
protocols that secure wireless networks to protect against unauthorized access and ensure data transmitted over these networks is encrypted.